standing down. And Morgan did not Ooh, share anything. We followed him. Not even. Only the details um, of your condition. Guys, guys. Zoned out Alex's arming key, but I'm stuck down here. Rebooting the station reactor will remove the lockdown. Alex placed in the main lift and airlocks, then I move freely around the station. Right, so we have to deal with the reactor first and foremost. Also, welcome back to Prey. We have to deal with the reactor if we're to make any progress. Right, and we got the one dock who seems to be trapped, I think. Not exactly sure. So it seems like there's some kind of handicap that it can occur with neural mods that makes it so people aren't able to use them. That motherfucker! Hey, when did I do that? This might sound strange coming from me, but I admire what you did. You didn't have to help Chief Elazar and her people in the cargo bay, especially considering, well, considering you intend to destroy the station. You gave them some hope, even if it's brief. Huh. Okay, interesting. So our past self would have maybe not exactly been okay with our decision, but was accepting of it and understood it. Interesting, and if you don't remember, January is our past self, or at least the self we were before everything went exceedingly wrong. God, this guy really tried to cover up every little access point these things could have used to get to him, and uh, yet he still managed to fail? Oh, fuck. Did he... I think he used the goo gun to suffocate himself. Good to know. Stash in the hall by the escape pods. No time to rig a drop. Good luck, EV. What? I mean, clearly a stash of some kind. Wanted to investigate that. Oh, interesting. In the world of prey, America never stood with the allies in the Vietnam War. Interesting. And the Iron Curtain never fell. That's a bit of history jargon that I'm not 100% on, but some people probably understand security office. Nice. Pretty sure it's a safe in there. Oh, recycler! I barely noticed it! I saw something out the corner of my eye. I was like, what, the, what is that? And then I realized, recycle a grenade. Okay, all the fucking things, all the door controls are going to be trapped, aren't they? Fuck sakes. Morgan, can you pick one? Get, get, pick one. Pick one. I support engineer James Prink. Lost studios. Playing light support. Engineering power plant. Additioning. Start air. Interesting. Watch out. Fuck off. So Jean is somewhere around here. She's a life support deck, I guess. Coming through. Useful. Hey. Hey. Aha. Screw you, electricity. Despite the fact that I could have fixed it. For not to deal with that. So we need to reset the block. Son of a bitch. One in here. We need to reset the. Did it just say fuck you? <laughs> fuck you too, buddy. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, there's a telepath around here, but we need to reset the uh, uh, power to be able to get the uh. I believe it's the lockdown lifted. 
Yeah, to get the lockdown lifted, we need to reset the power first and foremost. Ooh, there was a lot of fighting down here. Wasn't there. Wait, another one. What? I telepath. Can you scan you? You don't seem to be able to open the door. Aren't you, Sody? There we go. Nice. New available. Not gonna bother him for right now. Wait, what? Scan complete. More specimens required. Telepath. Oh! Motherfucker, it's broken. Yeah, it doesn't work. You have to deal with that damn telepath. Oh. Okay, and they're the easy way then. Because this asshole is disrupting it. Entry makes sense. Yeah, upgrade my inventory a time or two. I, 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 I. Seriously? Oh, why'd you close on me? Oh, this is a skate pod, right? Um. Got it. Got him. Right, there should be a stash around here somewhere. Hey, where's Kurt? Is that the thing we were doing? Abigail, I'm recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. She said yes? We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Funny. I like that. Uh, there should be a stash around here somewhere. Let me guess. There's a mimic in there. This is Dr. Dayo Igwe. Hey. My last words. Oh, yeah. Oxygen is short. I estimate I only have minutes left. I thought I detected someone passing by, but it may have been my hopes. Running away with me. First, to those of Earth, my theories were correct. Psionics are possible, and the Talos databanks will prove this out. Second, we are not alone in the universe. I have evacuated Talos in light of what appears to be an alien manifestation. They are demonstrating psychic abilities on a scale, on a scale not even I had imagined. If only, Maya, I wish you could have witnessed this. I met Leitner, you know. His skills, I could have played for you, but taken away, just as you were. And now the others on the station, so many, such a waste. I assume this sarcophagus will drift at the Lagrange point indefinitely. But I cannot be sure without an exact measurement of Talos' mass. What will Earth be like when the ashes of my re-entry drift down to the surface? Huh. Interesting. So they recognized and understood what was going on, but that doesn't actually help. That doesn't help me get into the area I need to get into. Now he's caught who off guard? <laughs> Come on! I can't even get a badass line in. Motherfucker got me into shooting the air thing and I got blown up. Ow. Oh, that doesn't help. Some bad shit happened around here. 
I'm surprised oxygen's still working. Wait. Shit, 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 shit. There's thermal around. Ah, there we go. And to deal with that thermal, but that's a problem for future me. Fan controllers, check, check fans. Ooh, fan three jammed. Uh, fan three interrupts. Wait. Yeah, I can. There we go. Drop on him. I love getting the drop on these idiots. God, I'm actually getting kind of good at the fighting, and it's a lot of fun once you know what you're doing. E. Everything should be working fine now, right? I, mean, I don't know what exactly it was we were fixing, but we fixed something. <laughs> Fuck. Oi! Fucking poltergeist. Here she is. Oh. Hey, uh, Jessica, got a minute? It's my day off. Yeah, but can you run me through the container docking procedure again? I, I missed the training session. Ugh, Grant. Please, if I ask Gus again, he'll lose his mind. Are you at the crate docking control station? Yes. First, enter the handling number on the container you want to dock. Um, where do I get the number? Look at the container, Grant. It's stenciled on the outside. Once you enter the number, you should see some options pop up. Select dock. That's it. The container just docks itself, right? Yes, Grant. It docks itself. They are all self-piloting. <laughs> and I guess open opens the container? Yes. But both ends can never be open at the same time. That way the interior loading zone stays pressurized even when the cargo bay doors are open. Okay. I think I got it. Thanks, Jess. Jess? Hey, you there? Okay, bye. <laughs> I already understood how to do that. I feel like that was just something weird. Uh, decontamination. Atmosphere control is a class 100 clean room. Starboard. Shades and particles contained within specific limits. So inside atmosphere control should be probably sued down temporary options. Control room. Atmospheric decontamination procedure initiated. Oxygen flush commencing in five, four, three, two, one. What's the point of this? Hazardous atmosphere conditions. Well, the fire went away because, uh, you know, no air. What's the point of this? There we go. Oxygen levels low. Hmm. Answer crew, two quick notes. I know this goes without saying, but remember to take extra safety precautions, especially if you've been awake for more than 20 hours. I don't want to see anyone dozing off and falling into the turbines. Jesus. Thanks to the vein for maintaining the decontamination chamber doors. You got four months without having to flush air from this substation. It's great work. Interesting. What was the point of that? Clearly, there's some reason I'm able to do that. I'm considering a cheap method, which is to reload back to the start, which would mean I'd have to redo everything that I've already done, but I'd have those six neuromods back and I'd be able to use them for leverage three, but I really don't want to do that. Yep. Okay. Ow. 
That's one way to get in. Fucking asshole. Apply a storage room near Gotcha Tank Tanks 2032. Gotcha. Hit shop to okay. Is that seriously it? Instead of manually overriding, seriously? This freaking room held. Okay, well, let's head to storage room then. So that's the best next thing I got. Uh, don't share with Weber in 1917. What does that mean? something wrong? I wanted to speak to you about the most recent VIP visit. Leitner, the pianist. Chief, if there were any problems, I checked the schedule, the roster. I did my best to make sure Igwe wasn't too... Igwe. Chief, I even had Leitner's cigarettes waiting. You did an excellent job. In fact, Leitner praised you specifically. There'll be a bonus for you in your next pay cycle. Take Nicole out for a nice dinner, all right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Oh, that's sweet. They're like family around here. Oh, that's what this is. Safe code. Go. Hello. Whoa. It's a lot of stuff. Land dangerous. Okay. Enter it. Useful. Maybe. Depends on what my next few decisions are. That would determine whether or not that's actually useful. No mods, three of them. Uh, excerpt from New Ayers. Okay. Useful. It nearly got me to the six neural mods I need. To be able to get leverage three and break open that door and put my fucking shotgun up that goddamn Typhon's ass. But, uh, yeah, not quite. Not yet. There's a catwalk up there. That could get me somewhere. If I could find my way up. Hello, hello. Would you be a way forward? I think you might just be. Um, Morgan? I was about to ask, what the hell would you do? I, what the hell would you do? Here we go. Yeah, I'm not happy about you. Ow, mother. God, can you stop? Anything else? No? Good. Lay out. We can get to the reactor control room, though. Gotta clear this room first. Should allow me to skip around. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Where's this lead? Oh, this is the way I got in. Okay. I can slide? I did not know I could slide. Probably because that has very little use in this kind of a situation. When would you be able to slide? Maybe slide through a small gap? I don't know. When could you actually get use of that? Aye. I'm not going to be able to get anything. How the hell do I get the power back on? Hi, fucker. There we go. Uh, Chief Mitchell expects things we can schedule delivery. Okay. So cooking area, I guess. No. 
not gonna help with getting the power back on. And I may be stuck down here. Hmm. That's an unexpected uh, problem. That's one way to get out. Let's head back and try and get the power plant re- What is that for? Yeah, I know! I've been in here for a while now. Okay. I'm gonna have to head out a different way, but at the very least, that door shouldn't be disrupted anymore. This area just doesn't have power at all because it's all kinds of screwed up, but the door was being blocked by the Typhon, so I couldn't get through. I wonder if the Typhon understand what we're trying to do. Cause like, come on, there's no way none of the Typhon haven't heard some of our conversation. You know? So maybe they understand what we're trying to do and they're trying to work against us. Or maybe they're just absent beings of pain and misery that want to kill us. Either way. Either way. It should be working now. Hey. Progress, finally. Hey. I know you didn't visit the reactor hey. much. You're always locked away in your workshop. Hmm. But I can track you through your bracelet and guide you from here. Thank you. Shit. It's watching me. How you doing, big boy? Huh? There we go. Hey. They can use those? Of course they can. <laughs> Just didn't expect one to pop out of it like that. Jesus. Okay, uh, keep that in mind. Those little bastards can use those things. Anyway. You were looking for me? Yeah, uh, what's the story on Michaela's office? I filed an incident report. Oh, well, I'm sure it's a page turner, but I don't have time. I need to get a crew on the other side of that breach. So what's the problem? Problem is, it's blacker than my butthole at the bottom of a well in there. The grounding resistor malfunctioned. Swap a new one and you should have your lights. Is that all? Hey, you sound rattled. What's up? I tried replacing the resistor yesterday. And? And it just melted into some kind of goo. It smelled like fried ass. Shit, man. That's not in the report, is it? <sighs> I need to get some sleep. My shift's over anyway. Maybe you'll have better luck. If you didn't catch on to what happened there, uh, she tried to- I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> she tried- The fuck? Whatever. She tried to replace the- Stop that. Anyway, she tried to replace a resistor with another resistor that was actually a Typhon. So the Typhon had been out for a long, long time now. Like, they were out long before the full-on breakout occurred. So clearly, there was absolutely no control over these things. Can you stop running for me? This? A little oh, bird okay. told me you plugged a leak in an unconventional manner a few weeks ago. Yeah? Was it an ass-kissing bird named Krasikov? Maybe. <laughs> Care to elaborate? Not if I'm going to get my pee-pee slapped. <laughs> Worse, I'll dunk you in the eel tank. Ouch. Nah, supply was out of parts, so I borrowed a glue gun from the guys in hardware. Worked out okay. Ingenious. Next time, let's make sure we have enough spare parts to do the job right. Roger that, boss. 
Yeah. I mean, on a station like this, it's better to just get it fixed than to argue semantics about how it was fixed. So long as it's fixed, it doesn't matter. Seems you're getting on my nerves. Ah. I, 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 the fuck? I didn't know these things could jump on your face like, well, face hugger? I joked about that, but I didn't think they actually could do it. There we go. How do you things keep coming from? I think I'm gonna use my skill points for stuff that will help my survival. I could invest in, you know, more Typhon skills or Leverage 3 or Hacking 3, but in general, I'm able to get around that stuff normally. But I'm not able... I can't afford to die. <laughs> I need to survive. I need to be able to upgrade stuff. Why did I fix that? wasn't mine. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, I knew I had some upgrade kits lying about. I need to be able to upgrade my weapons fully. Hey, mother! Hmm. Uh. Is it bad? I was considering. Reloading and yay, using the parts the way I wanted to Until I realized there was something up above. I thought there was nothing in here, but no. Yeah, there was Ooh, Bloody hell uh, Can I take this with me? I was 100% sure that would work Okay, let's try and fix that Well, at least that one didn't melt uh, what's the point of that? Maybe it fixes the power on the other side, so once I, I'm able to go out. Oh, this door is working. Hey, mother! This door is working now. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> Everything else on the other side isn't quite working though, including our hearts. Jesus. <laughs> Can I have two seconds to step through the door before you electrocute me to death? Got it. Ooh. The fuck is wrong with this place? Trust is a max There's a metaphor here, you know, typically the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output. They're referencing we already read that. Uh, skate pod. Looks like I sent an email to you by accident. Just ignore it, please. Also, I wrote what? Wrote an email. Just a joke. Prank someone. Should obey engineering. I'm faint to Jones. Skate pods only. I'm not supposed to tell anyone about this, but don't want you to know since you're someone I really care about that skate pods don't work. If there's ever an emergency on the station, don't try to use them. However, I'm working on rigging one of them to work. Don't tell anyone. Oh. So the escape pods were never designed to work. They were never meant to work at all. Interesting. Um, yeah, good luck to you on that one. The escape pods were never designed to work in the first place. Which is interesting. I guess it was a consensus that I, considering what they're dealing with, it's probably a good idea to avoid anything being able to lead the station. I'm transcribed that I missed the first time. Hey, Lane. This is Gus, down in Cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. 
A machine. What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. I was hoping that you could tell me. <sighs> what? Well, is this some kind of a joke? I, I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. <sighs> you obviously don't understand what I do. And I didn't order any deployer. Reployer. Ask somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, hmm. no problem. Oh no, he so ordered it. I think we found a reployer before. I'm not sure what they actually do. Yeah, 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 I know there's one of you assholes around. Duncan, access code to part storage changed last shift. We had a short, so security came up and reset. Oh, sure. Thank you. Hey, maybe it's not my place, but... What? Spit it out. Well, it's just that there was a minor leak, and, uh... I, I told Connolly we should wait for new parts, but, uh... Duncan, I don't give a shit about your pissing contest with Connolly. Take it to Brooks. Code's embedded in this message. Hey. Wait, what was that for again? I wasn't paying attention. That works. Scanning target barrels. Insufficient type of material found. Standing down. Hey, this is her office? Boy, my Hey. Morgan. I doing? thought I was going to die. <laughs> well, sooner than I thought I was going to die. Where did that thing come from? Was it Tony? The way it was looking at me. I get up, <laughs> except for my legs and my lungs and my nervous system. Don't look surprised. Power plexus, remember? Hmm. You warned me. The boosters are in my office. No way I'm getting there now. But the lifts. I was serious before. I think we can bypass the lockdown. The reactor control room. <clears throat> There's a panel for shutting down everything. The whole station. The computer will scream at you, but just do it. Then pray it all comes back when you cycle the power. <laughs> it should. It will. Now, go. Alright. Um. Find your medicine in your office. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. Come on. <laughs> Some lures, this helpful. Elaine uh, Krigsoff just rage quit the Battle Ops League, so if you have an open spot, do you still want in? Just show up at the usual time in the reactor room. I have enough parts for your k kit bash. Remember, not a word of this to the Brooks or Illish. Uh, they don't know, and I want them to want to say that way. Huh. Uh. Start in facial repair, place ground resistor and intense power so as powerful electrical explosion, subsequent structural damage that exposed the office to vacuum. If we the bulkhead sealed the breach, the volley resistor immediately melted into a short sort of Oh yeah. So she knew about that. Interesting. Okay, where is I know that's a way forward. Where is her office? This is a way out after <laughs> Mother! The fuck? Okay. What the fuck did you do to him? My freaking heart nearly bounced out my bounced out my goddamn chest. Operational. Thank you. Oh. Her office is the one that got breached. I see. You don't remember Hello. her, Good but she remembers you, again, you. you. She hid her condition to work aboard Talos 1. When you found out, she should have been sent back to Earth. But you made an exception. Ah. I'm not sure if that makes you responsible hmm. now. She oh. won't last long without her medication. It's up to you if you want to help her. Yeah, of course. Her office is the one that's breached. So we're gonna have to do the power plant thing if we're to get it back online. If we're to get the exterior stuff back online so we can get to it, get our medicine. 
Yeah, and I feel like we are kind of responsible if we chose to let her stay on the station despite the obvious that she shouldn't have. I mean, I understand she wanted to do some good for the world, but she ain't doing much good if she ain't able to live, I guess? I don't exactly know what her condition is that she has. Ooh, but it seems pretty bad if it puts her into that kind of state without the proper resistors or whatever. Nightmares? I not again! Really? Look at things running away and hiding. Do I really scare you that much, big boy? Those freaking powers are much more useful. Got a perp carry worker. Which how useful that's gonna be. And then we got the stuff to build anything. God, these last few chunks of the game are really freaking draining. Drain the shit out of all my resources. Cycler, okay, so I may be able to actually do something. E, reactor access. Here we go. I made some freaking progress and some refueling. Thank you. Need every ounce of this. 10, 16, 76, reboot initiation, sweet safety switches. Those need to be turned off, but I think. Uh, is this safety switches? Ah, okay. So we have to do all this to prepare it. Nope. What? Safety switch is not engaged. Please engage in correct order. Ah. What is the order? Uh. Okay. Goes to gravity. Please work. it myself that's no problem um one those are kind of an issue uh two you want me to go in there have you lost your damn mind clearly they really like those i can fix the diverter god i hate being in here diverter oh no i can't I've loaded the replacement reactor diverters on the freight lift as requested. Oh, shit. I asked Connolly to send them down when convenient. Yeah. No shit, it's a fucking reactor. Of course we're gonna get cooked alive in our suit. Okay, so I had to head up and get that. God damn it. Why can't people do their jobs around here? How was this station still alive? <laughs> Before the typhoon broke out. What the hell is that noise for? 
Well, why are you making those noises? They do not help anything. Here we go. This is gonna hurt. There we go. Ooh, let's get the full road over here. Not only because of the radiation, but also I just do not want to be in there when that damn thing turns on. Okay, come on. Zoom. Uh, where did they come from? Reactor initialization complete. Systems restored. That did it. I'm showing power to the lifts and the airlocks, but seeing a lot of power spikes and leaks in the coolant chamber. Watch yourself on the way back. There could be other structural damage. Gotcha. January? Well, not I you. See. You mm -hmm. said everything. Uh -huh. Talos one is wide open now. Clever. Reckless, but clever. Yep. It's good to see some things haven't changed. <laughs> I'm not gonna get in your way anymore. You deserve to hear the truth. All of it. Come up to my office. He's the kingdom, yeah. Morgan, was that you? Yeah. Whatever you did, I felt it in my gut. If this is some kind of payback. Power's coming back online. <sighs> and that means the main lift too. I hope. Yeah, everything's back online. That was the only way to fix it. Where the hell did those two go to off to? Ooh, chromatic. Yeah, at this point, he's admitted defeat because, like, he has done everything in his power to stop us, and clearly he can't. Because, yeah, he can't outsmart us. Got it. There we go. Also, Azar, uh, I would prefer if you guys could get a team down here to the fucking reactor to protect it. I'd rather this place not be taken over or go going down due to Typhons. That would be, uh, problematic. Whee! But these elevators are useful. So he's just gonna give us his arming key? And I don't trust him. But I do trust the fact that he has kind of conceded defeat at this point. He has done absolutely everything in his power from that office to stop us and just hasn't been able to. No matter what he's done, no matter what he's put in our way, we found a way around it. He locked us in deep storage, we launched ourselves out in the data vaults. Oh, Careful I thought Morgan. that light was a nightmare. Gas alarm went off in the coolant chamber after you powered the reactor back up. The turbines Hello. are hydrogen Good cooled. You again, now Hero. they're leaking. You take a shot and it's your last. It'll Good. be like shooting a grenade at your feet. Or worse. Wait, what? Wait, the hydrogen things went off in here? Come here. Come here. Diagnosing. You're suffering from radiation poisoning. Yeah, no shit, I was standing in a reactor, you prick. I'm gonna create a save real quick. Does she wait in here? This will only take a oh, I was hoping I was about to explode. A patient experience questionnaire so, okay, I can so you we need to go out and around to her office where there's three neuromods and her medicine. Which we can bring to her to save her and then she could probably make her way to Elazar, considering majority of the threats have been dealt with by us. Oh, we actually have a timer on this. An hour and... 37 minutes? Yeah, I think an hour and 37 minutes. Damn, that's a lot of time. Damn. I don't know why we're on this. It's kind of my job not to listen. I know if I had... 
Would you? Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't be here if I had listened. No, if I hadn't listened to you. If I had? I'm a little confused at this point. My brain's a little fried, if you couldn't tell. There you go. Oh, God. Morgan. Um. You surprise the hell out of me sometimes. Please, right at the neck. Just look for the marks. <coughs> it was harder when I was doing it myself. Ah, uh, God. Oh, God. I can breathe again. Yeah, and you're and in the wrong spot. Feel my legs. I still have some spots in the eye, but those should clear up. Thanks, Morgan. Nice work, Morgan. <laughs> You'll make junior engineer yet. Now, get to the lift. But be careful. No telling what got Hello. stirred up in the Good shake. You again, I'll follow yeah. when I can. Meet you at your office. Okay. Also, didn't I design a bunch of the shit on this freaking ship? <laughs> the hell are you on about? Warning. Dangerous huh? level of explosive. I wondered how you would react to finding Michaela. You risked your life to help her. It makes me think the neuromod extraction didn't erase everything. Not completely. Perhaps particularly strong memories still leave faint impressions. Intuitive feelings. Or maybe you're simply more compassionate than I expected. Are you sure it wouldn't have been better to. I don't mean to be insensitive, but when she finds out you intend to destroy Talos 1, she might react strongly given that there's no way off the station. Yeah, and also, like, no one's gonna be allowed off the station. Oh, I need to repair these to get out of here. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 33%. Tank integrity restored. Hydrogen loss reduced by 33%. Oh, that crashed my game, I think. <laughs> oh, that's the room she meant. Yeah, my game crashed. Dude, I would not do that right now. Me fighting you will end very badly for both of us. Oh, oh fuck six bunch of crap here too. You should pay better attention there, bud. Damn it. Shotgun's busted. You came back in from outside. Oh my god. Thank you. Now I can move free. Uh, you, not so much. You are in life support. A jog there, I think. Eel tanks. Where your trust star food comes from. Chopped up and made new colors. Connected to septic system. A jog there too, I think. I'm gonna kill you once I figure uh, out where the hell you are. Hello. I didn't expect that. have appeared there. Oh god. Everything is painful when you got so little health. Ay, 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 The fuck was that? So that's how they deal with uh, things getting a bit too crowded. Oh, 
Moment. Es wo wo wo. Morgan, that massive Typhon appeared shortly after you installed alien neuromods. You are being hunted. I warned What? you. What? I get hunted if I install more? What the fuck? Where is it? So I guess that's the danger of installing more neuromods? You attract unwanted attention? I guess these things don't appreciate- A human stepping in on their turf? I'm gonna wait on installing neuromods. I'd rather not attract a freaking nightmare to me. Why are you red? Oh, shit. Okay. I can hack you guys. I've hacked a bunch of turrets, including the ones in Hardware Lab where my main base has been set up. Does this make you friendly? Does this override your detection? Please tell me it does. Okay, so I can hack you into believing that I am friendly. I mean, it's not wrong. I am friendly, but it ensures that you don't turn against me. Ooh, that's gonna be a problem. Made it to your office, Morgan. I haven't been here since... I believe it was the time where your medical condition was discussed. Why not again? What the hell? Morgan, is that... I am January. Morgan Yu's personal operator. Talk about loving the sound of your own voice. <laughs> All right, January. Is that Morgan's workstation? And the fabricator? Um. Morgan, come up here when you get a chance. Chief Ilyushin, please do not... What has she done? January, what is she doing? Just to check my terminal. I got a chance to him forever. God, that's motherfucker! Not me! Of course. Working on it. God, I love her. Okay, let's see if we can outrun a nightmare. And turrets. Yeah, turrets aren't gonna help. Wait, 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 the turrets are able to shoot me, but they're not shooting at the nightmare already? I think that's just an asshole move. Ah, screw it. Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Muster stations? Cool, that thing's, well, a nightmare. Attack you so you don't kill me and so I can still have a little protection in front of my office. Standing down. And Morgan did not Ooh, share anything. we followed him! Not even only the details um, of your condition. Guys, guys, <laughs> nightmare treating you too well. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I thought the office was safe. Where's the other one? Perhaps the coral is a kind of reservoir of all the energy the Typhon have been accumulating. Maybe. Let's try not leading the nightmare back to our office. What the hell else are we gonna do? Hi, can you get the fuck out of here? Um, are you gonna go away or not? The timer ran out. Um, you're supposed to go away. 
because this isn't damaging him. It isn't knocking him away from the grenade. Got him. God. Okay, that's bullshit. He should have died. Or gone away. I'm not sure how the evading part works. Clearly that broke. The elevator broke him. Either way, he's dead. It's been a while since I've been back here. This is where I need to be to be able to fix... Not only my plans for the Neuromons, as well... I need to fix... I'm trying to remember, it's been forever. I need to fix the thing that, like... The Neuromod Fabrication Plan, one office, also need to use the security office to hunt down the one guy. <laughs> Fucking Mimic! Volunteer testing, okay, I've never been here before. Not that difficult when you, you know, kind of badass. On. The you family cause much trouble on Earth. Now they play with the stars and expect not to burn. I wondered why you opened us to the chamber. Make us see our horizon. Sharp. Razored. Hungry. You surround yourself with machines, with things. They cannot keep you safe. They will eat you as well after they eat you. Maybe I take your suit. Become MU. Get shuttle access. The fuck are you on about? Hello, volunteer. My name is Bianca Goodwin. I'm the volunteer and guest liaison aboard Talos One. I wanted to be the first person to congratulate you when you woke. On behalf of everyone at Transtar, well done and thank you. I'm sure you feel disoriented. This is because you've just experienced a medical procedure known as acto-regressive neurotomy. For the next few hours, you might have trouble with fine motor skills or recalling details. More importantly, your memory of the tests is completely gone. But don't worry. I want you to know your willing participation was a big success. It's already yielding valuable information for our scientists and engineers. So, please, rest easy for now. Once you feel well enough, I'll come by to conduct your exit interview. See you soon. Hello. Uh, Hello volunteer. Oh. That's not creepy at all. Uh, I'm going for a health upgrade. I need any power for some reason. Oh, I see. Where are you? Where are you, little bastard? Uh... Things confiscated in lay a shakedown. Pass case of cigarettes. Honestly, this is actually kind of nice. <laughs> like, for volunteers' quarters, like, this is kind of nice. They had, like, pinball machines and stuff. Doesn't seem all that bad, especially considering whatever the o other option was, which, yeah, ping pong, cards, they have all kinds of stuff here. Lucas Noak, uh, Kortjebesh. I don't know why he has the goods that he has. I can show you where he keeps them. Hmm. I guess something going on with the volunteers. Goods, a stash of some kind. There we go. Hmm. That explains what happened to the other two. Oh, you know what? This is security, probably. Dumbass. 
kind of that gets annoying. Ah, this is security station. Where is he? You? Crew member. What was his number? Shut up. Ten sixty five five thirty seven. Yep, that's him. He's in the bridge. That is kind of concerning, but we had to head that way anyways after we meet up with other two, so... Might as well. That's what you get, you fucker! My fucker tried to kill me before. No, he did kill me a while back. Hi, not again! Well, good thing I just requested one. Trans. Okay, you hacked again. Okay. And Morgan did not share anything else about me. Morgan, Hello. hope you don't mind. I was using your workstation. Chief Ilyushin ignored my request to desist 13 <laughs> times. <laughs> and no need to tell Morgan about the 14th time, January. I took the liberty of restocking your supplies. Found some oh. food on the way up. Left it on the desk. Don't worry, they're alien proof. I checked them. No twitching. <laughs> Chief Ilyushin is correct. There are no Tyson cacoplasmas present. Oh, thank you, January. I haven't been in here since you were lecturing me on my paraplexus. Thought for sure you were going to fire me. Yeah. Too bad you were sweet on me. I could oh. tell. Yes, yeah, very sweet on you. You're absolutely lovely. Okay. Perhaps the coral is a kind of reservoir of all the energy the Tyson have been accumulating. You said that a while ago. You can read me. Hmm? Uh, last thing, two, O2 almost okay, gone, Impostor Cooks aped. Track him. Yeah, already got that. Trust me, I'm gonna be going after him. You know what? I'm gonna make a quick stop in psych. See about... Yeah, I'm gonna make a... Did I complete the other mission? At this point, I'm starting to question whether or not I'm how interested I am in that psych evaluation. Could I go for that? Hendrix. Oh, hi. Oh, this is where this stuff broke into. I'm pretty sure this was sealed up before. Is this where this stuff broke? Okay, I'm not that interested in the psych evaluation. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Let's go confront Alex. Let's see what the bastard has to say for himself. And see if there's another nightmare waiting for us at the top. What just happened to the elevator? Guys? Morgan! 